Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. As the title suggests, yes, I am in fact a liar. I know I said I was not gonna buy any more niche fragrances, I was done for the year, but listen, when, when the ancestors bring a bounty of things to me, like who am I to turn it down or to say no thank you? It all kind of just snowballed into this and yeah, we have a fragrance haul. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The first person to blame is technically Travalia Wallace. If you haven't heard of her, come on now, come on. She's on Instagram, she's on TikTok. She's a certified fragrance expert currently working at Nordstrom in NYC. She posted up on her stories that she found one bottle of Christian Dior Tabacco Colore in the stock room. Now, this shouldn't like phase anyone. It's like, oh, what's the what's the big deal? This was at the old Dior pricing. So if you saw my Belle de Jour unboxing, you know I got the sample of Tabac Color, but I ended up sending it back because you know I ain't want no problems with Dior. But out of the samples that I received from that package, Tabac Color, I was like, I'm feeling her a little bit. So I slid in her DMs and was like, hey, do you mind sending me a sample of it? Sure enough, she ain't even confirmed. She just sent that to me. So I got it, I played with it a little bit, tried it out on my skin, tried it out with some layering samples, and I'm like, you know what? Let's go for it. So I hit her back up, I'm like, hey, if it's still available, can I get that? And she was like, sure. <laughs> so we have to that color. This has the really pretty packaging and I got it for the old Dior pricing. Y'all know mama loves discounts, so that's, that's why y'all know I had to do what I had to do. When you smell something from a sample, it is a completely different experience from spraying it from the bottle. So I wore this one day and I was like, I don't know if it's coming off a little too masculine because the tobacco is here. From the top to the bottom, mid everything, tobacco is in this fragrance. So I was getting a little worried. I'm like, mm, I think it might be pulling a little too masculine. So I had my sugaring appointment and my waxer, Gina, as soon as she saw me, she was like, girl, you smell good. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Cause you know, I wasn't sure. Cause I, I knew I wanted this fragrance to layer with, but I was like, let me see if I can rock it on its own. And I was just a little nervous. And I did not want to send this back to Travalia. So I was like, I really hope this works out. But I wanted this fragrance to add to my collection because as I look at it, I don't have any like heavy hitter winter fragrances where it's like, you know, 10 degrees outside. What's gonna like push through on those cold wintry days? And I'm like, I don't have too many of those. So that's why I really wanted to add this to my collection. And then the layering combinations that I was doing, I paired this with um, Venom of Love from Navitus. I paired this with a Bodacea, or is it Bodacea? Correct me which one, but the Bodacious one, the cherry, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make this do what it do. So the confirmation from my waxer let me know that I was good to go with Tabac Color. There's nothing to worry about, and I finally have <laughs> a decently sized bottle, not the big 8.5. So very happy to have this reasonable bottle in my collection. So I ended up getting to back color, right? And then I ended up watching the Santa Maria here on YouTube, hey girl, hey. She posted up a video saying that she went to the grand opening of a brand new cosmetic company store in Nashville, Tennessee. So my gear started going okay and i was like yo what if they have tom ford lost cherry since they're brand new and all so i'm like let's take a chance so i ended up calling up if you don't know you can call up cosmetic company stores and they will ship it to you you just got to be comfortable enough to give your credit card information over the phone so i call up and i say hey do you have tom ford lost cherry and the woman on the phone whose name happened to be cherry we had a little quick giggle She's like, yes, we actually do have the Lost Cherry. And I'm like, fantastic, let me give you my information. She said, ah, 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 ah. pump your brakes, we're not open. I didn't realize that Nashville, Tennessee was in another time zone. So she was like, call me back 30, 45 minutes and we can get this all settled for you. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I call back, no answer. 
no answer, busy signal, busy signal, no answer. And I'm like freaking out. Now I didn't call back to back to back like a crazy person. I waited an hour in between. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm not gonna get this fragrance. So I'll, I finally get through and I'm like, hey, can I speak Cherry? She hops on the phone. I'm like, hey, yo, I called this morning about Lost Cherry. Can we get this done? She's like, oh yeah, cool, cool. I'm gonna put you on with Michelle. I'm like, okay, Michelle. She was like, I have to pull it from the stock room. Let me just show it right now. And um, I have to pull it from the stock room and I'll call you back. So I'm sitting <laughs> like, mm, okay, so, like five minutes, like call back or like late at night call back. So I'm still getting nervous because she, she didn't get through to me. So I was like, oh God, <laughs> like, is this happening again? So finally she calls me back. It was literally like 15 minutes. She called me back. She's like, hey, I have the 50 ml. I'm like, yes, let's go. Then she was like, I also found a 100 ml. Yes, I bought both. Any other logical person, probably would not have purchased it. You probably would have just went with the 100 and skipped out on the 50. But Lost Cherry, it's very rare that you see it in the cosmetic company store. So I was like, you know what? Buy it and figure out how to pay for it later. That was literally my logic behind it because you, you don't see it that often. And when you see it, you just gotta grab it because it's gonna be sold just like that. Then on top of it, we already know that Lost Cherry, the clue is in the name. As soon as you put the damn bottle down, the cherry is gone. It's, it's a gone. And some people may say like, oh, that was pretty like frivolous of you to even buy because you know it doesn't have that good of a longevity. And I'm like, I'm gonna take my chances because at least if I have the 100 ml bottle, I could continue to overspray. I can continue to layer it. I was never planning on buying this to wear on its own. I already knew from jump that this was going to be a layering situation. Case in point, Tabac Color and Lost Cherry. Just symphony of tobacco cherry, plummy peach goodness. It, a little bit of honey, a little smoke. That was my plan. If you don't know, there is going to be a new like Lost Cherry. I wanna say it's called Cherry Smoke releasing pretty soon. So clue is in that one. It's probably gonna be Cherry and Smoky. Probably the combination of these two to be quite honest. But I was just like, let me just buy the 100 ml, tuck this in the, the, the cut and um, just get both of them. If they had two 100s, I probably would have got two 100s. Like, I'ma just be honest with y'all. And very, very high key, I actually like the look of the 50 ml bottles more than this because I don't know why they made it wider. Like, they could have just made it taller and called it a day, but I'm not the designer of this. But I was like, ooh, let me get that Lost Cherry. So as Michelle is wrapping up my order, she's like, um, is there anything else you want? <sighs> Famous last words, right? So I'm like, what other Tom Ford fragrances do you have? So she's running down the list and then she's like, I have Soleil Blanc. So I was like, girl, just, just, just add it. <laughs> now I know some of y'all are with the screw face, like girl, didn't you say you don't like Soleil Blanc? I never said that. I said I prefer Soleil Neige over Soleil Blanc, but given the opportunity to get this, especially at half off, I'm gonna leap. <laughs> so I probably should have gotten the 100 ml to be honest, but um, if you ever see me pop up with it, just know I did what needed it to be done. But Soleil Blanc is still a really nice like scent. You know, it's got that coconutty vibe. I personally get the Ylang Ylang. I get something very yellow floral with this and a tiny bit of the pistachio. That's what I get from the fragrance. It is still nice. I still like her. But um, I definitely prefer Soleil Neige. Soleil Neige has my heart. But I low-key, high-key wish I would have gotten Tobacco Vanille because they did have one more bottle of that as well. And that's what the Santa Maria ended up unboxing. But I was like, you know what, girl, like you ain't got it like that. So reel it in. The only reason why I didn't jump with that one is because like most of Tom Ford, like I said, you have to try it out multiple times before you pull the trigger. So between Rose Prick, Tobacco Vanille, and F and Fabulous, those three, 
every time I smell it on my skin, I get a different reaction for myself. It's like some days I love it, some days I hate it. So I need a little bit more time playing with those three in order to like pull the trigger. But like I, I added the good Judy's to my collection and like you can't blame me for, for the discounts. Like Tom Ford is half off. Tabac Calore, old pricing. And on top of this, uh, the Tabac Calore, shout out to Travalia. Like, I asked her for some samples of La Perla and honey, she delivered. Even though, you know, people go onto the Dior website to get the, you know, the free samples of Dior and stuff like that, honey, Travalia, she can give you the samples of Dior too. Plus some, just saying. I'm just saying, but thank you both for just helping your girl out because I definitely like the variety that I have in my collection with these. And you know, of course your girl loves a discount, but in the meantime, check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.